Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Harrison and this is your News at Two. A man has been found guilty of five accounts of possessing indecent photographs of children. Sean Aslam appeared at Stoke-on-Trent Crown Court today after being arrested on 31st of May last year for possessing homosexual material involving young men on his laptop. 70% of patients admitted to the acute medical unit at University Hospital of North Staffordshire in September last year stayed longer than they should. The national target for stays in acute medical ward is up to 24 hours, but over half of patients every month stay longer than this. In February this year, one patient spent more than 10 days in the unit. A 20-year-old man has been cautioned after his arrest in a connection with an attack on a 29-year-old man in Stoke-on-Trent. Witnesses said they saw a man knocked unconscious after leaving the LRV nightclub on the Staffordshire University campus off Leak Road in the early hours of this morning. Residents are scared for their properties as a former school in Longton has been targeted twice in the last two months by arsonists. Twenty firefighters took five hours to tackle the latest blaze at the derelict college site on Sunday and now there are calls for it to be demolished. And this morning saw the opening of the first ever Waitrose store in the whole of North Staffordshire. The Leak supermarket will bring new jobs to the area and have a positive impact on the value of local properties. And in sport, Port Vale manager Mickey Adams has revealed that other clubs are interested in his services for next season. But he doesn't, but he's stressed that he doesn't want to leave the club. And it was playoff semi-final heartbreak for Leak Town last night as they lost 2-0 to Belper Town. Errors from keeper Ben Chapman led to late goals from Aaron Cole and John Froggett. That's all your news for now. For more information on all of these stories, you can visit our website at www.staffslive.co.uk or follow us on Twitter at Staffslive. We'll have more in our next bulletin at 3.30. Goodbye.